Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tanks Cooks. All right. You know, with all that gravy I made with the roast, I always have to make a meatloaf, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm making a meatloaf. Now, when you make a meatloaf, you actually have to be prepare it the night before. So, let's get a uh, pound of meat. Pound of meat. Pound of meat. Put it in a nice mixing bowl. Mixing bowl. And of course, we gotta put our usual spice in it. Let's get the meat a little broken up too, so it's a little easier. Once we get everything in here that we need, we get the uh, accent. Accent. We've got the food flavors. You know, I really do put this shit in everything. Do some uh, garlic powder. Get some uh, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Now we'll uh, make some uh, onion soup. All right, we're also gonna need one cup of bread crumbs, which we'll put over here for the side for now. Because now we have to put our wet ingredients in. Putting in the wet ingredients. Now we do is this absolutely genius invention, the easy egg cracker. Watch this. Look how easy the eggs come out. They sell this anymore, but this was a made for TV product. The easy egg cracker makes cracking eggs very easy. It makes it even easier when you make it over easy. Okay, we're gonna put some tomato sauce in here, and here's the coup de gras, the secret ingredient. Heinz 57 sauce. Adds a little zest, a little spice. There we go. Heinz 57 sauce into our meatloaf. And the last thing we add is some breadcrumbs. Now, we gotta mix this all together real good so we'll get our plastic gloves because. Uh, it really gets slimy and you want to have like gloves on when you're touching all this uh, slime and you mix this up, mix it up real good. All right. La 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 la, la 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 la. Mixing up of the meatloaf, mixing up the meatloaf, mixing up the meatloaf. Ya da da da, ya da da da, ya da 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 da. Meatloaf, meatloaf, mixing up the meatloaf, mixing it up real good. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. It doesn't take long. Just mix it up so everything is spread in here evenly. So when you get it in here, and what we have to do is actually get some pan, and we spray our little dish here. We spray it with Pam, so when we take the meatloaf out, it slides out really nice. And that's also why we make it the night before, because we put it in the fridge and it emulsifies. So we'll put the meatloaf into the meat pan. Boom, 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 boom. Here it is. Get the meatloaf. Get a little the last bits of the meatloaf. Make sure it goes in here and spread it evenly. Spreading it evenly. Spread it evenly. And we'll take just a little more of this tomato sauce and spread it all on top. La 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 la
And there we go. We'll cover this up with a piece of aluminum foil. Get the gloves off. And we'll cover this up with a piece of aluminum foil. And we'll put it in the fridge and we'll cook it up tomorrow night and it will taste just right. Alright, well, we've had this meatloaf in the fridge overnight. Look how it's nice and settled down. It's settled in the, uh, in the uh, glass dish here. And now we're going to cook it for one hour at 350. We'll put it right in the oven. It's been preheated to 350. And we'll be able to enjoy this meatloaf in one hour. Alexa, set a timer for 60 minutes. Alexa, stop. All right, we've had this uh, meatloaf in the fridge, in the oven for an hour, and uh, we're also reheating the gravy. Now, the gravy, when you start reheating it, is gonna be more like a jelly, so you have to add some water, and you reheat it, and then as it loosens up and reheats, that's when you know it's done. Now that the meatloaf is done, we have to let it rest for about uh, five, 10 minutes. So we'll crank the heat up on the gravy, try to get that done in time. And we'll take the meatloaf out, put it out, and have it set aside for a few minutes before we get ready to serve. Meatloaf! We're gonna serve meatloaf! We got some corn. We're gonna have some mashed potatoes too as we get ready to enjoy this meal. Mm. Doesn't that look good? I'll let the juices settle in it for a few minutes before we're able to actually get ready to serve it. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. To plate the meal. Yes, that's right, it is time to plate the meal. This meatloaf looks like it came out good. Unfortunately, a little bit of it fell apart, but that happens sometimes. I don't know about you, but I like to crust the ends of the meatloaf best. So we'll scrape that here. We'll take that end over here. We'll take this end over here. Well, look at that, look at that. Here's has a nice little crusty end. Time to plate the meal. Get some corn onto the plate. Time to plate the meal. Look at that, there it is, nice little kernel corn. I think kernel corn goes best with meatloaf. Time to plate the meal. There we go. A little bit of salt. Get some mashed potatoes, of course. Yep. Boom. Boom. And I get our nice little gravy. Same gravy we cooked the other day from scratch. It's now leftovers. That's why you could repurpose, repurpose, and reuse when you make uh, large batches. That's one good reason to make large batch. Look at that. Look at that. I and mean, it had, it cooks it. You basically have to cook the gravy maybe about 20, 30 minutes. Cook it first on low so it starts to like because uh, it emulsifies. It turns into like a, a a gravy jello. You have to add a little bit of water, and then when it's, when you know it's liquid again and, and and warmed up, that's when you know the gravy is done. So let's rotate the plate. 
gravy tastes good the second time around. And now the meatloaf, I always like that crusty part, as I said. Came out delicious. And that's how you make a nice meatloaf.